Hi there. My name is Hannah. I'm a grade 12 IB student at College Sturgeon Heights Collegiate. Um, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about women in science. And so let me start by explaining what the IB program is. IB stands for International Baccalaureate, and it's basically just a separate program that I'm taking in high school uh, where I'm going to get a different type of diploma. And so to get this diploma, there are a lot of different requirements. I have to take advanced classes, and there's something called the IB Core, which entails a class called Theory of Knowledge, a paper called the Extended Essay, and then there's also something called the CAS component. And so CAS stands for Creativity, Action, and Service. And I'm making these videos as part of a CAS project. Um, I had originally planned to come into some elementary and middle schools and room, run a program just for girls um, on the different sciences and sort of how they could get involved in this and where they could go. Um, but due to COVID restrictions, I unfortunately couldn't come into any schools. But in a way, I think that making the videos is even a little bit better because I think this might be a little bit more of an accessible format for certain people, which is really great because I want as many girls as possible to see these videos and learn from them. And so in class, uh, when we do a project, it usually has to focus on some type of global issue. And so one of the global issues that I've decided to focus on for this particular project is uh, gender equality in the world and the empowering of women. And specifically, I want to empower women and promote gender equality in the sciences and in all STEM fields. So if you don't know what STEM stands for, uh, that's fine. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Uh, so in these videos, I'll be focusing more on the science and technology part of things, uh, but engineering does fit under science, obviously, and math has applicable concepts in most types of science anyway. So it kind of just falls under one big umbrella. Um, in the following videos, I'll be talking about uh, four main sciences, biology, chemistry, and physics, which are sometimes known as the big three or the natural sciences, but I'll also be talking about a fourth, which is computer science. And so if you don't know what any of those subjects are, that's totally fine. Um, I'll be explaining it in the following videos. But basically, once you get to high school, in grade 9 and 10, you still have to take a general science course. But in grade 11 and 12, you get to pick from a number of sciences and get to take what you're interested in. Uh, so at Sturgeon, we have those four sciences, and we also have psychology, which is a human science. So I won't be talking about it as much. Um, but you get to take those four sciences, and I myself am taking three of those sciences. I'm taking biology, chemistry, and computer science, but not physics. And so I'll be talking mostly about those and explaining them to you, seeing if you guys might be interested in those and that's something you want to take in high school or even pursue as a career in the future. Um, so also in the videos, I'll be talking about the subjects in general, just explaining what they are, um, what you can study in them, what kind of careers they can lead to. And in the videos, I'll also be doing some experiments and demos for each of the subjects. And we'll also be talking about some well-known women in each of these fields, because these are videos about empowering women and girls in science. Um, I really think that it's important for every girl to have a role model to look up to in science because a lot of the fields in science are generally dominated by males. And I really want to promote gender equality in these scientific fields because I think it's important because women can be scientists and um, it is an important thing that we're seeing more gender equality and we're empowering women and encouraging girls from a young age to be interested in science if that's something they want to do. Um, and so in the following videos, I hope uh, you'll be interested and you'll want to watch them and think it's kind of cool and start to sort of get an idea about what you might want to do with the sciences. And I hope you learn things and that you are empowered by the idea of girls in science and that you even start trying to promote um, that type of stuff too, doing things at your school and taking more science classes and maybe thinking even about a career in science. Um, so if you think that it all sounds interesting to you, great, stay tuned for uh, the next few videos. There will be four of them, one on each of the subjects I just mentioned. Um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.